We're on. Okay. <laughs> Friday, you guys. Here we go. We got a we got a great little strength workout for you today. Um, starting off with mobility as always. Bree's gonna hop into that pigeon stretch for us. Yeah. Because we had some we needed someone that's actually really similar. <sighs> Just taking jabs. Left and right. This is great. I'm in a mood. Two minutes aside here. Um, if you want to do an elevated pigeon here, by all means, go for it. Bree's doing a pigeon on the floor, right? She's gonna reach out in front of her, make sure that she's active during these two minutes. We're not just hanging out in one spot. Okay? How's that feel? You I'm good? Sore. No, Bree's sore. All right. Second piece to our mo mobility today, we have supine, or sorry, prone, other way, other direction, prone, PVC lift offs, right? So we're laying, overhead. yeah, we're starting overhead. Out in front, we got our thumbs up here, and without lifting her chest, Bree's going to lift that PVC pipe as far over her overhead as she can. That's a problem. She can only go that far. When she gets to her limit, she's going to pause and take a full breath, and then back down. So we're doing 15, 10 or 15 overhead, and then we're going to do 10 or 15 behind the back also. So she's going to flip that around, go behind the back. We're going full grip this time behind the back. Lift as high as she can. Much better back here. Full breath. And then back down. 10 or 15 there as well. How's that feel? Oh, nope, so she's sore. dead. She just let that PVC roll behind her back. Um, here we go. Let's get into the warm-up, Bree. Okay. All right, you can stay that down there, actually. Three rounds for her warm-up today. First thing we got, 10 rocking push-ups. So am I going forward? You go back. Oh. So. And then you rock back, yeah. So start to the top of a plank. Go down to the bottom of your push-up. Rock back onto your forearms, back to the top, and press up. If you need to kip out of the bottom, you guys, that's totally fine, okay? We're going to do it one more time, back to the forearms, and there we go, right? Totally works. After rocking push-ups, you have 10 bowler squats. Yeah, let's see it, Bree. Take that one leg behind you. Yeah, hey, that was a strike. Yeah, I nailed it. So we're taking that back leg and crossing it behind us, you guys. I have to demo and talk now because Bree's fiddling with her things. Um, 10 rocking push-ups, 10 bowler squats, and a 30-second hollow hold. You can do that one. Your, your abs aren't sore or anything oh, either. <laughs> can you figure it out? There we go. We got it. 30-second hollow hold. If you got the full position, she clearly does not today. If you got the full position, do all 30 seconds there. After our 30-second hollow hold, we're going to do a little bit of breath work with stability. Um, you're going to do five breaths, holding a single dumbbell, locked out overhead. Locked out overhead, rib cage is down. You can see she has her off hand pressed up against her rib cage to make sure that stays down. Her thumb is back, so her dumbbell is facing, I call it north-south, meaning front to back. And she's taking five deep breaths here each side. There you go. That's our warm-up for today. All right. Now let's get into our workout today. We got a little bit of a strength thing going on today. If you have two dumbbells, great. If not, we can still do this with one dumbbell, ideally with two, though. First set, we got three by 12 seated strict press. Press overhead. Let's see it. Yeah. Elbows stay pointed forward. Again, dumbbells stay north-south here. Core needs to stay super tight here, you guys. You're going to want to flare that rib cage. Let's see a bad one, Brie. You can't. It's not working. No, she's super sore. It's fine. It's okay. After the uh, seated strict press, you have supine skull crushers. Now, this one can be either two dumbbells like this or one single dumbbell holding it in the middle. Let's see what that looks like. No, the other way. So you've had it. Yeah, right here. Again, the elbows stay in the same position here, you guys. This dumbbell should not go behind your head. It should go right on top of your forehead. Boom. Nailed it. After the skull crushers, we have 4 by 10 plyo push-ups. Are you doing Yeah, you're the one that said you didn't want to talk about all this. <laughs> plyo push-ups. It's a lot better than Bree's making it out to seem. This is going to be a good one today, you guys. It'll be fun, I promise you. But plyo, if you can get a little bit of air underneath your hands, great. If not, we're just trying to explode up as fast as we can. This is totally for men. Come on, let's see it. It's not. It is for you. It's not. 
Yeah. There's one. <laughs> we're trying to explode up there as fast as we can. Right? That, that was the, that's the upper body section for today. Now we're going to switch over to the lower body a little bit. <laughs> get your box out. Get a bench out. Get something. First section here, or, or first movement here, we have a 3 by 12 dumbbell front rack step up. 12 total, not 12 each side. So you got two dumbbells in your hands. Okay. Bray wasn't prepared. Dumbbells in your hands, stepping up, staying as strict as you can. Yes. Remember, stand all the way up on that one side before the other leg gets there. Can you show us what that bad one looks like where you stand up with both feet? And then you squat up. Not going to cut it. Right? Stand all the way up on that one side before the other foot hits the box. All right? After the step ups, we have three by 12 dumbbell dead steps. So on our dead step, this is a little different today. She's going to take a very small step out in front and hinge over. Nice, perfect hinge. And then back up to the top. And we're alternating sides here. 12 total. Again, not 12 each side. All right. How's that feel? You good? Yeah? yeah. After the dead steps, we have five by 20 alternating single leg hip bridges. One. Other side now. Two, there you go. Five by 20 of these. Even Bree doesn't listen, right? <laughs> she roasts everybody for not listening, and now she doesn't listen. I'm calling her out. It's fine. <laughs> so five by 20 there. And then at the end, yes, there's still more. There'll be a little bit of rest there. You have to accumulate 300 seconds in a plank. If you want to do the math on how long that actually is, go for it. You'll figure that out. But 300 seconds and a nice perfect plank here. Slight round in her upper back, right? We're not arching the back. Show me that bad. There. We don't want this. We want to push that lower back to the ceiling, right? Scaps are engaged. Torque in the elbow or torque in the shoulder, sorry. Elbow pits are forward. Fired up. Our scales today. Really, the only thing that we need to scale is, is if you're not stepping up, we're going to do normal lunges there, okay? Regular normal lunges. I would prefer stepping out over stepping back so it's a little more similar to the box. Um, if, you have to, if you're a person that needs to step back, then go ahead and step back. Point of performance today. Uh, kind of high rep here today. It might, be, it might get a little heavy at some point. Do not lose shape as that weight gets heavy. So just to finish those last five, four reps, whatever it is, don't kind of let the rib cage flare or the elbow flare, right? Those little points of performance today. Don't let those things go out the window just to finish the last few reps, all right? And then our stimulus is slow and controlled. Strength work today. Don't rush through anything, all right? Recovery, we're going to smash the tricep and we're going to smash the hamstrings. After all those push-ups on Monday, as someone, someone told me that we did a bunch of push-ups, right? Um, we're going to dig into that tricep a little bit. If you have an elevated surface like this, that would work great. Oh, hey, is that, are you good? Hey, you know, push-ups. Push We're getting into that tricep, you guys. Don't forget to bend and straighten that tricep and get the uh, – or the elbow, sorry, and get the tricep moving also. Cool. And then we're smashing the hamstring on a bench or a chair, something. Go side to side, bend and straighten. Yeah, the bend and straighten is the one that kind of gets everybody. But Got it. You good? Yeah. Triceps and hamstrings after this workout today. You ready? You good? Yeah. We're good. Nailed it. Happy Friday.